Hi everyone, this is Cadman Cycling, and today we are walking through Zwift's FTP ramp test. We're trying to answer four commonly asked questions about this FTP test. First, what is FTP and how is it used in cycling? Second, what are the different FTP tests available in Zwift? Third, how does the Zwift FTP ramp test work? And finally, what is ERG mode and why is it important for this ramp test? So a quick overall background, the purpose of an FTP test is to estimate a cyclist's FTP, which stands for Functional Threshold Power. A cyclist's FTP is measured in watts and is the estimated power that a rider can hold for one hour. Essentially, it's the biking equivalent of a runner's mile time. It's used as a baseline that can be tested over time to measure overall improvements in a person's cycling abilities. So in Zwift, there are four major FTP tests available. Two are overall FTP tests, a longer and shorter version that are 75 minutes and 45 minutes respectively. Then there are also two versions of this ramp test, one of which is specifically made for lighter riders. This ramp test lasts until exhaustion, but will be much shorter than the original FTP test. So the ramp test starts with a five minute warm up interval so that the rider can increase their heart rate and get their legs warmed up. After the warm up, as you see here, the test will begin with 100 watts and then increase by 20 watts each minute until you can no longer pedal. So at first it feels easy, but the test quickly gets very hard and exactly how long that takes really depends on how strong the rider is. Then, at the end of the test, Zwift will calculate your FTP as 75% of the power that you put out for your best minute during the test. So, for example, if a rider averaged 300 watts during the last minute of their test, then their FTP would be calculated as 225 watts, which is 75% of that best minute of power. And finally, I wanted to touch on ERG mode, or as some people call it, ERG mode. So the Zwift ramp test is completed in this ERG mode. And the purpose of ERG mode is that the smart trainer will hold a particular wattage. So this is valuable during the one minute intervals since the trainer will automatically up the power output by 20 watts each minute. And this allows the rider to focus solely on putting out this power and not trying to manage exactly how many watts they're putting out uh, each minute during the test. So as we reach the end of the test, I wanted to touch on what I like most about the Zwift ramp test, since this is the first time that I've tried it. First, it's a quick test, making it easy to complete every month or so for riders who are trying to improve and would like to gauge their improvements over time. And second, and this is different from the other Zwift FTP test, is that these test results do not depend on pacing. It simplifies the process for the rider as the only goal is to hold the watts for as long as possible while trying to determine the FTP. So as I finish the test, we can see the FTP was estimated for me at 233 watts, which I'm pretty happy with uh, since this is my first time completing the test. So with this FTP number, I can now gauge my cycling fitness going forward and try to improve upon it. So overall, I hope this video helped give you a good intro into the Zwift FTP ramp test. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Cadman Cycling, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.